Want to record voiceover directly into Final Cut Pro? It's easy and a click away. Let's dig in. Final Cut Pro has a built-in voiceover tool that lets you record audio directly in Final Cut Pro. You can use the computer's internal microphone, but we strongly recommend using an external mic to capture better quality audio. But for this video, we'll stick to the Mac's built-in mic. To record a voiceover, start by positioning your playhead where you want it to start recording. Then, navigate up to Window and select Record Voiceover, or use the shortcut Option Command 8. The Record Voiceover window will open in the center of your screen, where we can adjust a few settings. Open Advanced to reveal more setting options. In the input dropdown, select your input device. If you're using the computer's built in microphone, you should have System Setting already selected. As we speak, the green audio meter will display the volume of any audio being picked up by the mic. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4. We can adjust the input volume by dragging the gain slider right to increase the volume and left to decrease it. But pay attention to the audio meter. Make sure the volume doesn't exceed the peak levels colored red. Next, give your voiceover audio file a name. We'll name ours VoiceOver. At the bottom, choose the event you want to store it in and assign it an audio role. If you're not using headphones to monitor your audio, set Monitor to Off. If you leave this on, the microphone will pick up the sound from your speakers. If you're using headphones, you can set Monitor to On if you'd like to listen to the audio as you speak and use the gain slider to adjust the volume to a comfortable listening level. You can select the countdown checkbox to give you a visual countdown in the viewer before recording begins. If your video has any background audio, such as music or sound effects, your microphone will pick them up. So unless you're using headphones while recording, leave Mute Project checked on. And last, if you plan on recording multiple takes of your voiceover, you can select the Create Audition from Takes checkbox to combine all your takes into one audition. And here comes the best part. When you're ready to start recording, click on the Record button. Because we have the countdown option selected, our playhead will move back a few seconds and begin the countdown from there. The countdown timer will read zero at the same time where your playhead was originally positioned. This is your cue to start recording. In a galaxy far, far away. Once finished, press the space bar to stop recording. If you'd like to record another take, you can click on the record button again without moving the playhead. In a galaxy far, far away. Final Cut Pro will automatically create an audition clip with the different takes. After you're done recording, you can preview the different takes to see which recording best fits your project. To preview the takes, hold Control and click on the audition clip. In the menu, choose Audition and Preview. Or use the shortcut Control Command Y. This will open the audition window where you can cycle through your different takes. If you'd like to learn more about using auditions in Final Cut Pro, be sure to check out the related video linked in the description below. In a galaxy far, far away. This audition clip is awesome! Once you're happy with the take you've selected, click Done. By default, an audition lets you choose only one take to use in your project. If you'd like to combine portions of multiple takes, you can break the audition into separate audio clips. Select an audio clip, 
Then in the top menu, choose Clip and break apart clip items. Or use the shortcut Shift Command G. The audition will be placed with the individual recordings of each take, and from here we can edit it as needed. Who knew a built in voiceover tool in Final Cut Pro? Am I using it right now? <laughs> Don't forget to check out Pixel Film Studios, where you can find Final Cut Pro plugins designed for beginners and professionals alike to take your projects to the next level. And that was our latest episode of Final Cut Pro tutorials. Hopefully you enjoyed them and we can't wait to see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, anything you can do to spread the word.